Hello, my name is Brianna, and I'm in fifth grade. Hello, my name is Kellen, and I'm also in fifth grade. We, we are, are the T0616A, the Revolution, and this, this video is for the Create STEM Research Project. Why we chose Jibbo. Jibbo, unlike all the other home helpers, Google, Mini, Apple Home, Amazon Alexa, is that it has all the technology of tomorrow. Its touchpad, sleek, smooth aluminum covering, and moving technology gives this home helper a sensation of the future technology of this world. Jibbo was created by Cynthia Bustasiad and is sort of an Alexa Google Mini put together, except it has moves, has its own personality, and has a touchscreen. He is hands on. Thanks to Jibbo's touchscreen on his face, you can communicate through sound and touch. Plus, you can video chat with family and friends. He's a great listener. Using six microphones, Jibbo can identify who is talking to him and where they are. So you can talk to him, and he will talk to you, respond, turn around, and without missing a beat. He's got moves. Before Jibbo speaks, he moves in the tone that he's about to speak in. He could be acting happy, sad, angry, lovable, or embarrassed, but whatever it is, Jibbo is never shy to express himself. He's got vision. Using facial recognition technology, he uses the camera to remember everybody who he talks to him. He is also a great photographer. So all you have to do is ask and he will click, it's done. How does it apply to the laws of robotics? Law number one, a robot may not enter a human being or through an action and allow the human being to come on. Jibbo is designed to help humans not hurt them. Even if it wanted to, it could not be able to hurt anyone, mainly because it doesn't have arms and can't move from place to place. Law number two, a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings to set where such orders would conflict with the first law. Really, that's what the robot was made for. And like we said before, it can't do any harm. So you can just give him a command and he will do it. Law number three, a robot must protect his own existence if such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Yes, it can protect its own existence and you because it can connect to the security system, your phone, and your household. Problems with Jibbo and what we can do to improve them. Disadvantages problems. He has router configuration and Wi-Fi connection problems. Users and owners have trouble figuring out what Jibbo could do. Packaging, shipping, and delivering usually takes a long time to arrive at your house. The company canceled all overseas orders and some in the U.S. and Canada. Advantages, good things. Jibo achieved and exceeded all its fundraising goals on the first day. Jibo has raised 200000 plus so far on Indiegogo. What we can do to make Jibo better. If Jibo had more physical capabilities, like being able to cook, clean, and put together parts. If Jibo was able to access the internet or YouTube. Reviews. PC Mac. Three. Good. Bottom line. While Jibo is an adorable robot assistant with personality to spare, it costs more and does less than the smart suitors from Google and Amazon. Information starts are Jibo.com, Wired.com, Indiegogo.com, CNET.com, and GeekWire.com. Thank you for, li thank you for listening and any questions. Any questions? What surprised you most during the research? Uh, I'd say that we expected we didn't really expect Jibo to do as much as he could do, but really he can do a lot of things, and it's quite amazing how much he can do. Did you learn anything you did not know before? Please explain. Well, I did not know that this robot existed, and it's pretty cool how it's um, movement, and it's very different from Amazon Alexa. How did you divide up the research among team members? Well, we um, uh, we did the research together, and then we both typed it in, and then she mostly focused on the information sites while I focused on the reviews. What was the most unusual source of information? Amazon, because we didn't really expect that it had a lot of comments, but... The mo but the only comment that was on there was actually really helpful to our whole entire STEM project. How did your research change your view on this topic? We we thought Jibbo could do a lot of... We really didn't expect him to do a lot because he's a small, com cause he's a small robot. But really, he just has the same amount as Amazon and Google. How did your research make you more excited about science? Well, what it, what kind of excited me was that I didn't even know this robot existed, and I, for one, am very excited to see what else robot, what other type of robots are in this world. What did you learn beyond science? 
things perhaps not related to your theme? Well, since you have to say, I mostly want it to be the robot that could bring family members together so they could talk to each other and Joe. That is all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.